If you want the code quickly, just leave your email below, and I'll send it to you. However, typing along as we proceed enhances understanding and is highly recommended. NumPy helps us with numerical operations. It's a library loved by scientists and engineers. Matplotlib is used for plotting graphs. It's like the artist of the data world, bringing numbers to life visually. This function generates our signal, combining low and high frequencies. Here, we're creating a time array. It's our canvas for the signal. Our signal is a mix of low and high frequency sine waves. We return both the time array and the signal itself. They're partners in this dance of waves. Now, we create our low pass filter. It's like a bouncer, letting only the low frequencies in. First, we transform our signal to the frequency domain using the Fourier transform. This gives us the frequencies present in our signal. We zero out frequencies above our cutoff, then transform back. Our filtered signal, now focused on the low frequencies, is ready. How long our signal will be, in seconds? It's the stage for our performance. The low frequency component of our signal. It's like the deep, calm voice in a choir. The high frequency component. Imagine it as the sharp, energetic soprano. Our cutoff frequency for the low pass filter. Frequencies higher than this are not invited to our party. Let's generate our mixed signal. Time to apply our low pass filter. We're setting up a large canvas for our plot, ensuring it's big and beautiful. This subplot will show our original signal. It's the before picture. Plotting our original signal. A legend to clarify what we're seeing. Our title, introducing the plot. This subplot shows our filtered signal. The after picture, if you will. Plotting our filtered signal in red for contrast. Another legend, for clear communication. Labeling our z-axis. Time is the stage on which our signal plays out. Labeling our yaxis. Amplitude is the volume of our signal's voice. Finally, we reveal our masterpiece. The plot is displayed, showing the magic of filtering. Alright, we've just seen the program in action and checked out the results. If you found this useful and enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share with others who might benefit. For more in-depth support or engineering consultancy services, head over to eprogrammer.com. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.